Hey everyone, uh, today is Tuesday, May 21st. Um, I am six days post-op. Uh, I apologize for not taking a video earlier like I said I would, um, but I literally had no privacy. My, my uh, mother wouldn't let me out of her sight, so uh, I finally have caught a moment by myself. Um, so anyway, surgery went well. Um, I had some side effects from the anesthesia. I got sick, couldn't keep anything down for about 12 hours. That was my dog, sorry, he has pneumonia. Um, anyway, I couldn't keep anything down for like 12 hours, but that went away. Um, and then, you know, I felt better as the days went on, had a little more movement. Um, I really didn't have any pain. I only took Tylenol, I didn't take any Vicodin or anything. Um, the only thing that really bugged me was the bandages themselves. Um, I actually, I got a couple of cuts in and a bit of a rash actually from from the bandages themselves under my arm um otherwise i mean the drains were a pain in the ass but you know everything everything was normal at that point really um so today i had my first post-op appointment with dr mcginn um i got my drains taken out and i got to see my chest for the first time um, so, I'm not gonna take off the bandages, or, like, the ace bandage or whatever, but, you know, I'll give a bit of a, a preview. Um, this line's just marker, by the way. Um, so, as you can see, I'm pretty flat. Um, I didn't have any bruising. And I think that's probably because of all the, the um, supplements and whatnot that I was taking, which I'll probably do another video of later. Um, so there's just a little, a little viewing. Um, everything looked good. Uh, Scar-wise, it looks like it'll heal fine. McGinn said I, I was a very good candidate, and. Um, it looked a lot better than I thought it would. Um, when they took off the dressings on my nipples, they were bleeding, which concerned me at first, but they said that's probably just from the ride up to uh, the office with, with the car and stuff, kind of hitting bumps and whatnot, so they didn't seem concerned about that. Um, so at this point, they told me it's basically just about kind of protecting my chest, and especially the nipples. Um, and just like putting a bunch of antibiotics on them, making sure that they don't get infected, um, and they start healing, and then I have another appointment next Tuesday, um, and they said at that point, that'll be more about kind of drying it out so that they'll scab and everything will start scabbing up and then falling off and turning pink instead of this really nasty black color, um, but, uh, so... At this point, I'm feeling pretty great. Um, I mean, I, ha I don't really have any pain. I have a little soreness under my arms. It's not a big deal to me, though. Um, and that's that's pretty much it for the most part right now. I mean, I feel pretty great. My, I'm really happy with my results. Um, Heather and Dr. McGinn were really great today. Again, um, informing me on what's going on. And, Dr. McGinn said everything looked great, um, and then, you know, Heather said any questions, any concerns, call ASAP, um, and that they'll, they'll do what they can, and, um, when I was about to leave, they said that they were gonna, next time that I came in, they were gonna give me papers in terms of, like, changing, um, legal documents, so I didn't even know it was possible to get legal documents like my birth certificate change just from chest surgery. Normally, I've heard that you have to get bottom surgery for that kind of thing. But from what Heather mentioned to me, it sounds like I can do that with what they're going to give me, which is totally awesome. Um, I'm not going to do that right away. I'm going to probably wait until after school and all that to make sure that I find financial aid and 
all that kind of stuff doesn't get messed up in any way um but i'm really i'm really happy about that like i was already happy enough when i was leaving after seeing my results and then hearing that they were going to give me these documents to like help me change my birth certificate that's totally awesome um it really it, that really made my day um anyway so that's that's pretty much it for now just a an update post up i'll probably do another one i don't know if i'll do one before my um next appointment or not i guess if something changes then i will um but for right now everything's going well so so long.